Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Yo, what up, Stefanos? What's up, man? Stefanos. Oh, this song's not bad. What up, Kelly? Lindy, Yatsu. Yep, GJ buys look very nice. I'm waiting for this hourly close. And then uh, I'm going to probably get in on the... Um, the normal new high entry as when it pulls back. What up, Aiden? Nice job. Gennaro, what up? Hey, Paul, what's your spread? I'm at three for some reason. Two. Uh, 1.5. Yeah, I don't know. Let me actually mark up this chart. Where's my mouse? Oh, here we go. What up, Jack? How's it going, bro? Yeah. Alright, so four hour target there. Let's see what the hourly looks like.
for the blues. <clears throat> What's up, Edgar? Yep. <clears throat> I think that makes sense. <clears throat> I'll just make sure you wait for that new, new high confirmation. I think that looks good. Got a good close. Got some clean traffic up to here. Uh, I mean, technically up to here, but this would be a good target. Is that you, Jay? Yep. Yeah, I was looking at it the same, but price is a bit weird. I mean, price it pull back. The thing I like about UJ is that you can have really small stop losses. Mm -hmm. it's not, it's not, it doesn't have as much volatility comparing to GG. Yep. Up on. Beautiful. Price closed above all the candles. You get, it looks like you got in at the new high. I like your chart. It looks looks very similar, Hayden. I think that looks good. Just remember, we got an hourly open coming in, so we're probably going to see a wick down to here or possibly here um, if we don't push up right away. But with how Juju's been moving lately, I think that wick down, especially with how this one's closing, I think we're going to see a pull back and then the push up. I think it might pull back to that wick area of that uh, previous 15. Right here. And then I, I don't think it should break that, though. No. See, I'm hoping these, this 15 or the next 15 or the next two or three pull back and then that last one or the last two give us that new high and push up. That'll be all I'm looking for. Good evening. Good evening. Yo, yo, what up, Dave? To fill daily candle. Okay. I don't think I, I thought I looked at the daily. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's nice. Thank you, Hayden. I apparently did not look at the daily. So, daily work flow looks very nice. Another 30 minute. Oh yeah, that's right there. Look at that. And so we'll probably end up heading up into here, maybe even higher. This is probably one of the cleanest charts I've ever seen on GG. <laughs> it's really clean, man. What up, Jackson? <clears throat> Yeah, Hayden, chart looks good.
mostly. What's up, Kabir? Yep, no problem, Panther. I feel like there's a lot less people here today. Oh, Vaughn's chart. Okay. I don't think I've. Let's see what's going on. Entry a new high. Stop loss down there. Yeah, that looks good. I think you should be. I think you should be good. The stop loss is on the 30. So probably right here is what I'm guessing. Yep, so stop loss here. Oh, yeah, I think you'll be good. If it breaks down below here, uh, I feel like there's going to be much less chance of it going up. So I think that's the same entry I took right there. What up? It's the same entry I took. I just got stopped uh, below the previous 30. Look at that support that was oh, down here. Previous support that was formed. Down. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So I was hoping this would do this, kind of come down and tap here. Because remember, we had an hourly close, so. Probably going to go back to an hourly resistance to find support to take us up. So it's either going to be here or this most recent one here. And then uh, finish that move up. It's kind of the plan I'm looking for. Perfect. Looks like you took it at the new high as well. Stop down there. Perfect. I think you could probably, I think this TP is going to get hit and if we have good volume, I think we got a good chance of pushing through that. But we will see. What up, Jimmy? Yes, sir. Uh, FTMO is done. I'm just waiting on the 10 days. But it is completed and uh, hopefully have the contract by Friday or Monday next week or the weekend. And then I will... Let you guys know everything that's going on once I read through it all. What 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 risk percentage did you use per trade like average? Uh, it was two percent total. And so what two per session. Yep, two percent. So it'd be two positions each at one percent. So two percent. Okay. Um, the challenge part took. Uh, six trading days. And then the second part took like 24 hours. When you, when you finish the second part, is it straight away you pass or you have to wait? You still got to wait the 10 days. Okay. Yep. So you have to wait 10 days for the first part? Yep. And 10 days for the second? Yep. Okay. But the, the, profit, goal, the... the profit goal took seven and then two days. Or 24 hours. Okay. Two trading you days. Verification as well, Paul. What? You did the verification part? Too? Yep. Yep, they're both done. Yep, as soon as it says passed, I'll, I'll show it all. That was for a 10K account. Yeah, just the 10k one first. Uh, you, you, they can, they can, they can give you up to three accounts of 100. Yep. Yep. This is this is money, what the fuck? Yep. Would you describe it as being easy for you, Paul? Yeah, it was very easy. It was fun because it was like, it wasn't like I was just risking <laughs> my money, and if I lose my money, I just lose my money. It was like. There's like a challenge kind of to it. It gave it like a different, a cool little feel to it, I guess. Were, were you a bit more picky with the trades or you took the same trades as usual? No, I was more disciplined with my risk percentage, that's for sure, but everything else was the same. Okay. <clears throat> I wouldn't say more disciplined, I was more consistent with it. 
Yeah, they do. They do require more like discipline with the um, with the risk management. Yep. Otherwise, you just blow the the daily loss, and that's it. Yep. Yep. Yeah, RMK. It's uh, when you watch the when you only watch one pair, uh, two sessions, um, five five and a half days a week, you you pick up on the way it likes to move. <clears throat> How long have you been trading DJ now? Uh, seven, seven or eight months, but I've been strictly looking at GJ for like without any deviance for about almost a month now. <clears throat> mm -hmm. What up, Jordan? So no more Nasty or UJ? Nope, no more anything. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, Paul. Yep. Like, would you risking like one percent? Like, would you like would you basing your like your percentage off the like max like loss since that's like literally like technically what we really only have? Or would you like maxing like using your risk off the hundred k? Uh, I did the ten k. Ten k. I mean. Yeah, yeah. No, I just did the one percent of the ten k, cause to lose the challenge, I would have to lose ten trades in a row, and that mm -hmm. wasn't gonna happen. So, right, right. That was one percent was fine for me. If I do, okay. um, or when they do like bump up and give me more money, um, then I'm sure I'm gonna change the risk and lower it so it fits whatever rules I have to trade by. Um, right. So it like makes sense, but um, yeah, no, just one per one percent per position, two percent total. It was it was fine. <clears throat> Actually, I think that only gave me five trades to lose in a row. Because that'd be okay. 200, and you can lose 1,000. So, yeah. I would have had to lose five times in a row with a full stop loss. They also have the, 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 also have a, the aggressive account as well. Yep. Yeah, I did the regular I guess, one. Yeah. Yep. I mean, for scope, was the aggressive one, it might be better over time. Mm, yeah. Because you might, might end up with a better percentage, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it all goes once I, once I get the account and receive money from them. Then I'll kind of figure out what what I want to do think, longer I think, term. I think they are legit because when I when I took the course of uh, Daniel Savage and do you know do you know them and Lambro, mm -mm. Lambro Rule as well. Uh, Daniel is usually in the weeks on live stream. Okay. Uh, so basically they have like a few, I think Lambro has three accounts on them. And he says that they're legit that they pay every month as well. So. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. I mean, that'll help add to the capital I already have, but then I don't really have to worry too much about risking my money. I can just kind of profit off yeah. theirs. And... Yeah, can you imagine if there's like a, a flash crash and they get a few, <laughs> few, <laughs> few people blow the, the account and just lose a shit ton of money? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would not be good for them. No. Once you pass the challenge, you don't have to follow the rules. I mean, yeah, I don't know what the rules are once you pass. No, I um, think you have to keep following the rules. I'm sure. If you go, I'm yeah. sure there are rules. I just don't know what they are yet, or if they are different. The, the rules are rules. Yeah. No, no yeah. time limit. Yeah, the only additional rule you have to follow is you can't um, exit trade. position before it is, and you also can't hold trades over the weekend. So you should be good, Paul. Yep. Yeah, I don't do any. You of that can anyway. trade. Uh, five minutes before or five minutes after the news, they will send you like an email every time that there's like a, a eigen pack news. So you basically cannot trade in, the, uh, in that time. Gotcha. But everything's the same, I think. Yeah, I mean, I figured it would be some rules, but if it's the same rules, that's still fine. I mean, I was, I was making plenty of money for what my like monthly bills are, so. Not really worried. Uh, and they, they will even refund you the money you invested in. Ooh, wow! I get a whole hundred twenty-five bucks back. Let's go. They they will pay you the money you make at the end of the month plus the the fee you paid to do the challenge. Oh, okay. I mean, that's cool. I guess. <clears throat> 
Maybe we'll give that money away. <laughs> give someone a $125 account to start their trading journey. I mean, like, I think starting with really small amounts is a bit, I don't think, I don't think it will work for me. Um, the pay, you need to be really patient for it to grow it. It takes, it takes way more time. You're probably going to lose it when you're first starting now. So. Yep, yeah, so when you're learning, I think it's best to just, I mean, if you can, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you put all your money into the account and you religiously trade your 0 0.01 so you're actually ready, yeah, that's fine. But most people aren't going to do that. <clears throat> so I think starting yeah, with less would be better. Yeah, in the beginning, yeah, it's when yeah. you have no experience because you're probably going to lose it. Mm -hmm. Once you know what you're doing, That's I mean, it. definitely yeah. fund uh, at least a couple thousand, I would say. But I, I mean, even for you, would you start with a $100 uh, account now? Would I start with one now? Yeah, yeah. Do I... Am I in the same financial position or no? Probably not, but um, that's not what I mean. Like, it requires like I know you can flip it, but it takes way more time to actually get proper money. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, you just trade. You're just trading cents. Yeah. Going nowhere. Yeah. That's the point of view. I think. I think the minimum to actually get some results you can see is like one one thousand dollar. Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, right now I wouldn't need to start with a $100 account, but uh, if, back in the day when I first started, it was like 50 here, 100 there, a couple hundred here, and just random amounts all the time because I had to keep redepositing and redepositing. And, um, <laughs> I think we've all been through that, no? Yeah, I definitely have been. Yeah, you got. I feel like you gotta go through it. The only thing I regret about it is like, if I just knew, I'll just like get the money instead of wasting it and put put the money into like someone to actually teach me. Because it's like a shortcut. But All the accounts that are blown basically was like over trading and over leverage. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's how and it goes. Yeah. Now, yeah, now I'm getting like way better, man. I can't even compare it. <laughs> but as, I, as I'm telling you, if, if I go now on a really small account, I just like, I lose motivation because it's so small money. Yeah, I get that, but I mean... When you're beginning, it's part of the process, unfortunately. Yeah. I think it's interesting when people uh, like do a hundred dollars to a thousand dollars. I've never done anything like that before, though. I think you have to over leverage to do that in within like. Yeah, 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 definitely. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I just don't understand. Listen. Uh, I I just don't know how they do it, like to begin with, especially at the beginning when you only like have such little offers. You you must have to like stack on the position a ton. Because the thing is, you will probably over leverage to them in a small time period of time. Uh, so if you have like two losses in a row, you'll probably blow the account. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you have one loss, you'll have to lower your lot size for the next trade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Losses happen, so no matter how good you are. <clears throat> so what I'm looking for on this trade is, ideally, I would not. I would like this candle to not do it. But any one of these candles coming down, I just want it to break above the previous candle, and that'll be my entry. So if this one breaks in, if this one breaks above, my entry will be right above this candle, stop loss below the current candle, and take profit for the wick fill. That is kind of what I'm looking for. Let's just continue. Good till 7.30. Can you go on the 30 minutes? Yep. Yeah, it looks way different. Mm -hmm. Yep, and we didn't break this. We didn't break this wick here, so. Yeah. Should be good, hopefully. Alligator on a 18. 
<laughs> if that's what you want to trade with. Yep. What, what, what line is it? The 1 0? Is it the I? Yep. No, it's just the resistance. So right here is where I thought it would tap. Oh, either okay, here okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. or here. Yep. Yo, 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 yo. What's up, guys? Yo, yo. I'll be back in a minute. I got to run to the bathroom. How's it going, guys? What's up, Alejandro? Not too much, Yvonne. How about you? This thing's trying to go without me. Look at that. Jeez. I was watching it on my phone.
Yo, what's up, guys? Yo. What's going on? Chilling. Mike. <clears throat> yeah, this GJ is looking nice. If we can break above this right here, to be honest. Fingers on the button. <laughs> yeah, I, just, I was thinking about not waiting until eight, but this is looking clean here. Paul, you looking for a thirty-minute break? Nope, just this 15-minute previous candle. Yeah, mine broke it by like a hair. Yeah, mine, has, I have a little line. Once it pushes past the line, it's right. It didn't push it. It just keeps tapping it. It's got to do a full... I'd like to see a break to 30 minute here. Yeah, 30 minute would be good, too. I, I've seen a lot of times where it taps it or it breaks it by like 0.01 and mm -hmm. then just retraces Yep, that's why I put a line on it. Yep, if I put a line on it, so then when it gets above the line, then it's like a, a pip above or so. Yeah. Damn, it literally and, just uh, tapped it. Holy cow. Stops below the current. Yep. The previous same shit, really. Yep. Yep, once we get in. Yeah, I've been in since, um, I think like 30 minutes ago. I had stops below, uh, previous 30 to that but i just moved them to the 15s here yep yeah i think I mean, if it goes back i don't even want to stay in anymore yep exactly uh above the wick because the wick is the high or low that price made and the body's just kind of where it closed uh so a new high is kind of where i'm looking for not the body I mean, you could do that if you want to, John. I'm I'm sitting at the chart, looking at it, so there's no reason for me not to just execute it on my own. Plus, I don't wanna. I'd rather enter manually because then I can have the stop loss in the spot I want it in instead of just guessing a random stop loss. That's just my preference. <clears throat> Did you take any losses during your challenge, Paul? Yeah, I took a... Uh, I had one big one on the first one, and then one on the second one, but that one was kind of out of my control. That was when my wrist got messed up, when it slipped me, like an extra five or six pips each position. But other than that, no, I didn't really... Um, didn't really lose couple losses here and there like anyone but other than one um bad sunday monday uh everything was pretty much green i was hoping this one didn't do the break because then you have a better stop loss on the next one hopefully Why well, you you would use the the bottom of the the next one? Yep. Expecting it not to to yep. wick down again. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Once it creates that low and breaks a new high or makes the new high, um, if it does retrace and make a deeper wick, I really don't want to be in it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a good idea. Yep. I was getting nervous doing that though. Yep. Uh, I don't. That does make sense. I don't think it was you. I, was, I think it might have been someone I was talking to, just from the group, but. If you think about when the price, when we take that entry, like for this one, we take it at the new high, right? If we take it on the next candle when it makes the new high, if it makes a bottom wick first, why would it make a higher low and then make a new higher high to come back and make a lower low to then go make a higher high again? No, it, you know it definitely saying? makes sense. Yeah. I get like um, a little weary about like smaller stop losses in that aspect, mm -hmm. which I mean, in reality, it's better for you. but Yeah. I mean, then you just... If 10 pips is your 1%, but you have a 5 pip stop loss, 5 pips is your 1% then. Yeah. So. I mean, even then with magic keys especially, you just get like a double lot size off that without even yep. having the risk. Yep. Super quick too. Just bop. Press the button. 
Well, I'm gonna get it, man. I just bought it today. It's amazing, dude. Oh, yeah. It's like the coolest shit ever for trading. <laughs> yeah. Besides it being like, really good for risk management, it's super cool. The thing that I like is like, because when you trade more than one pair, like the, the lots you have to use is different according to your percentage you're using. So sometimes I don't take it like 100% accurately. And with the magic key, it's probably just like tap a key and that's it. You literally, it's input risk or input put pips and then for the input risk you can have a balance percentage or fixed money or just a fixed lot in general so it's like sick calculator <clears throat> remember though i'm not trading off of the 15 minute resistance because obviously we closed below we should wait for this to close above this hourly is what the hourly is what the trade is based off of we have an hourly close above resistance clean traffic up to there we have a bullish 30 minute this one didn't break the low here we're looking for a new high to take it up we're not we're not executing solely or i should say that we're not taking the trade solely on the 15 minute we're taking it on the idea of the hourly and the 30 minute but we're taking the entry at the 15 minute. That's where I'm taking the entry. You do not have to take this entry. <laughs> oh, do you usually use a, a stop trailing, like stop loss trailing? Uh, if I hold it long enough, yeah, but I normally am getting out by 20, 30 pips. Yeah. Yeah, so it's really not super necessary for me. Paul, you're fine with the 30-minute closing bearish if it were to break the sign on the next candle? Yep, because if this 30-minute bearish candle is sending price down, this next candle should stay below it. Yeah. Ideally, it shouldn't... Um, it shouldn't break above a bearish candle if we're going to come down. Because if this one, we still got five seconds, and this looks like it's not closing super strong. Looks like it's closing pretty weak to me. And then 15 minute is bullish with a wick to fill. All we have to do is get above, and we should continue. take for you to switch your bias to bearish mm, I think I have it on here down here yep yeah it's got to get down here if we hold here we should definitely get a, a decent push on the 8 o'clock too yep it's a nice jump. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's better than yesterday. <laughs> yeah, really. Got like an 8 pip jump yesterday and then it just stopped. Then we had good sideways movement. Oh, God, here we go. Ooh. That wick fill was quick. And I hate... Sorry, what were you saying? I just said that wick fill was quick. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm on EJ Bodies now. Nice. You just tapped the four hour. I, so I guess it will continue. Yeah, I just broke it. Are you still considering stops below this 15 or putting it below the full 30 here? Uh, probably. I'm gonna put it below this one, a little bit below. It'll be about a 10 pip stop. But put yours where you want to put yours for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that was a that was a real 
clerk jump. That was my only consider because it, I feel like if we do this 15 and it jumps up real quick and then kind of jumps back down, you know what I'm saying? Nope. Overthinking. Well, that, I, that's how I got stopped yesterday. I, I put it on the moving candle and it came all the way back down. Might have been a bad... Was it a good entry spot? Yeah, entry was fine. Um, but I put stop loss on the moving candle. Mm -hmm. And it broke, and then retraced the entire candle, and then went all the way back down. So that's when you're that's just why. saying. That's why. That's yep. why. All the way back down. Yeah. If it retraces and comes back, the candle should come should not go back up. Yeah. Yesterday it did. That was the weird part. Hmm. That's only happened to me twice in a few months. So. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think. Um, just I. Bad luck. I don't know why I did that. It was just a probabilities trade, but yep. that was the first loss I took yesterday on the week. There you go. So you've been kind of quiet. Yeah, dude, I've really just been just been focusing and grinding, man. That's good. That's good. Responsible. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. No, I know. It's just the way your response is. Yeah, I'm in. Yep, I got it on this one as well. Oh, you use non copyright music? Yep. What do you use, uh, like the non copyright YouTube channel? Uh, it's the. No, it's, um. It's an app called Pretzel. Oh. Yeah, Monty told me about it. I think it's a UK thing, maybe? Yeah, there's, um. There's a channel called non copyright music, too. It has a lot of chill beats on it, too, if you ever want to check it out. I definitely will, and it'd be nice to spice it up a little bit. <clears throat> did it break that out really high yet? I don't think it did. Nope, has not done that yet. Got right there. I think if we could just stay like right up here for the next candle, and maybe if the next candle breaks the highs, and we get that eight o'clock push, we should see a, a free trade. Yeah, I'd like, I'd like the push to start happening before. I don't yeah. know if I knew hourly open, I don't want to sit in a pullback, but. We'll see, we still got this 15 and another 15, so I think if we get above the hourly, we should... If we get above the previous hourly, we whipped up to the same same area, we didn't break it yet. I think if we break, we'll, we'll start to see the move. Looks like it wants to. percent off you Jay now.
Day on UJ, uh, both like daily and four hour, they were bearish. They were really like really weak uh, candles. Holy cow, yeah. GJ just pulled all the way back. about to hit mine. Yep, now it hit. That doesn't make no sense. 30 minute. Yeah, that's shit. See how this 30 minute closes, I guess. That's a first. Hold on, somebody's here. I gotta see who that is. Uh, I don't know what I did a correction of. I took my trade, as I said, 30 minutes ago. Yeah, so now this one broke the high of the previous 15 and broke the low at the same time, so I definitely don't want to be in that trade. Yep. That's why. Yeah, I... dude, exactly what fucking happened to me yesterday, bro. Like, it's, I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, that's like the third time that's ever happened to me, so I don't know. This is, this is the second trade that has happened on, in a row. It's, like, annoying as hell. Hmm. And yesterday I messed up my risk bid time, so I risked like freaking seven and a half percent. Yeah, that. Why'd you do that? Basically the same thing. I put stop at um. Well, I, I entered and then I clicked double entry like probably like twenty seconds later. As soon as I hit double entry, it put stop below the the previous five minute. So it took that one out, but my other one was the one that was below the uh, thirty minute. And then it ended up wicking back up and hitting that one after it broke a thirty minute. With an hourly in my direction. Should have put your stop loss in the same spot. I know, I know. I tried to, but I, I, when I hit risk again, it ended up putting it lower on the 15 minute. That's never happened. That's. I don't know why I would do that. And mine's never done that. It should just keep it in the same spot. It just yeah, re-enters yeah, your it, same, your I same position. It, oh, yeah, it was a. I think it was. A, I did a re-entry. It wasn't a. I didn't click double trade. I did the re-entry because it pulled back a little bit. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to put it there. But it, it put it in the wrong spot. Hmm. Damn, dude. I was doing so well in the week, too. The last three cr have crushed me. Last two, actually. EA and me are like one, and I'm only gonna trade EA, man. Damn, it's good. <laughs> I got uh, two, 23 pips just now. On what? EA, on a buy. Oh, oh nice. nice. Excuse me. Yeah, we'll see what happens. All I knew was if it came below the candle that I entered on, I didn't want to be in for whatever was about to come, and that is why. Yep. 
I don't think it broke the hourly, no. Yeah, might want to tap down here. Oh well. I gotta save that one though. Yeah, no. I'll take that trade a hundred times in a row. Yeah, how many buttons did I press? There we go. So one one question I have for you, Paul. Yep. Is you saw the the print the, the prints that I sent you today about the UJ. On UJ? Because, yeah, they basically I got I got stopped out for like half a pip. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> so basically the thing the same thing is the same thing is happening right now. The price broke above the previous four hour, it's making an I. So now I just should wait for it to come back. Retest like the fifth uh, I mean, like a pullback, something like that, to make a new low, and then, then that's when I should buy, right? Uh, say that again. When this happens, um, I, mean, I would just wait for a new 30-minute candle to close. Uh, I, I, was, I was saying about UJ. that in the Trello at the end of the night. See what this 30 minute does. Yeah, it could be doing that Hayden. I don't know what it's doing exactly, but it did what I wanted to see for entry, so um, I'll take that trade a hundred times over. That's the first time it's done that to me in a, in a long time. So, I'm not too worried about it. Mm. Yeah, I'll get your chart for you, mathematics. See what we got going on here. That makes sense. I would just be personally concerned with um, how it's going to react, like here, here here and here um, but if that's what your plan says do do exactly what your plan says but otherwise I think your stop loss makes sense entry makes sense um, I think you could target maybe 
anything below this wick down to here. That probably would make sense. Damn, everyone lost an Asian tonight, apparently, so far. <clears throat> yep, that's perfect, Panther. If you're waiting for the close, then wait for the close. Oh yeah, if you're stopped under the one hour, you should be, should be good. Unless it runs all the way down. If it does that though, I could see the four hour bias getting changed. Wow. So. Yeah, we probably should have waited for the open. I might have to make that like a official rule on my plan for Asian session. As I think everything we've done before open has been a loss. And then once Asian open happens, we win. And yesterday it just ended up ranging. So, wow. <clears throat> what up, man? Well. <laughs> you didn't miss much. Yeah, that was a very hard pullback. Mm -hmm. I don't think we traded in a range. I mean, if you look here, there's no range here. But if we go to the 15 minute... Um, that's why it might look like it, um, but I wouldn't consider this a range. This I would consider a range, but this is just hourly candle going up, hourly candle coming down. Um, but yeah, I think everything before Asian Open has just been, I think the moves go from like 5 to 6, and the next one's like 7 to 8 if you get one, or it goes sideways. Hmm. I don't know, DJ. It could be. I mean, that was an extremely strong bullish close for it to come all the way down. So, 
We just got to see how it plays out. Um, no, I don't think it would have been better. You'd have had a bigger stop loss, so you would have lost more money. Unless you trade on like a percentage. But if it would have went up, your pips would have meant more going up. Um, we just got dicked around, that's all. I mean, if you look here at these candles coming down, this one kind of went above here, but because of this stuff, um, what does that hourly look like over there? Yeah. I mean, the bias is probably bullish here too, but just for a candle example, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. So when candles make those new lows, stops on the candle that does it, doesn't get hit. So if you entered when this one broke here, stop here, never got hit. All the way down on any of those candles. Um, when it's messier like this, you might have to use a like a 30 minute stop. But I mean even for the most part, like if we go here, this one we came up, you wouldn't obviously enter here, plus it didn't even give you an entry. So there wouldn't be an entry. Next entry would have been here on this one. Price went up perfectly. So that was just one of the times you lose, that's all. Yeah, it's got a long way down to go for me to get subs, that's for sure. I mean, it kind of made a high above everything. We could just be making a higher low somewhere in here to then go back. You asked for water? What? Uh, so Uh, that's up to you, Eddie. You gotta, you gotta trade your plan. I don't know what your plan is. <clears throat> no, it broke the fifteen clearly for me. MT four was a very clear break. Um, it just stopped at the hourly, so that's why the hourly did not continue, because we did not get a new high on the hourly. But we broke the previous 15 and the 30 minute, so it makes sense that we should break the hourly and continue up with the clean traffic to the left. But we didn't, so I mean, that's kind of just what it is. That trade, there was uh, that wasn't one of those mess up range trades, that was, that was a textbook trade for me, so that was just... One of the times you lose it in my book. But if you wait personally for hourly new highs like that, uh, then you wouldn't have even had an entry, so you wouldn't have even taken a loss. He's playing great music today. I got you, Lloyd. for bullish 30 minute indicating support yeah that makes that's kind of what i'm looking for i was thinking we'd kind of form it around uh, we'd form it around here or at least above here i would say if i were to take a guess because that's what this is we're going to see that support form somewhere here 
or maybe somewhere here um, something higher than here is kind of what I would like to see but like I said it's just a guess we just have to wait for it to form but it would make sense to either form here or somewhere in here maybe right here no that's kind of right there so 15 give us any information yeah maybe right here is where we could form it that would make sense that'd be more recent than what's to the left form it right there because this was kind of a fake out now we're just tapping into the support again to head up with Asian open but definitely with this kind of bearish I want to see a, a bullish 30 minute first because we're gonna have a bearish hourly close more than likely so I need to see a bullish 30 minute and then we can take a new high that's what I'll be looking for and if the 30 minute goes bullish and pushes above here then we just take a break above here once it closes or breaks if it's not a massive candle and we take it up just like the original plan if it comes down and breaks here then start looking for some sells but buys until then is what I'm looking for I mean I didn't buy it resistance it made a new high And if you look at this hour of the candle, we're clean up to here. It just happened to form resistance. So. Yeah, I see the wicks to the left. I've looked I've looked at charts before. I know what's going on. That gave me my perfect entry. So I took it. Uh, I broke the candle I wanted to enter on. Um, so let me zoom in so you can see. Right, this one didn't break it on my MT4, so there was no break there. This one clearly broke here, so there is a new high created. So. You should have your fingers crossed under the desk, bro. I, I don't get it. I do the same shit every day. It's like I'm a disabled person trying to do something that is super uncommon get fit my rules I took the trade what else, what else do you want from me it made a high and a low I mean you can't really I wouldn't anticipate this candle to happen if it makes a high I'm gonna anticipate price to go up because it just told me it was gonna go up if it comes back it comes back that's just how it goes that's all if you didn't like it then you just shouldn't have been in the trade that's all if you're in the trade and you lost and you're mad at me, well, you should probably take the trade on your own analysis then. Because uh, that would be your fault. I took the trade on my analysis. I lost. I feel fine. So, um, if you feel really upset about that loss, you should probably um, not copy my trades then, is what I would suggest. Because technically, if we're looking at most recent... I bought when a candle forms support. So, I don't know what to tell you. What happens? It looks so good, you went full margin. <laughs> yeah, no, that never happens. But it did look good. That was a perfect trade for me. Oh, I didn't even get you guys banned your messages before I could even see it. Yeah, it made sense. Why would we why would we anticipate this candle to break a high after respecting the low to then come back when we have a beautiful hourly candle and then a not so strong bearish close that kind of retested and broke above. That I mean that just makes sense. But I think we'll start to go up now that we have Asian volume. Um so we'll see how these next candles go. Paul, can you pay me back for that trade? Nope, you can uh, pound salt, buddy. <laughs> I dude, I love it, dude. I just, I don't if, usually go on the. If economy. that's the case, Mike, um, you need to send me ten percent of every trade we've taken on here, and then I'll send you back this one loss. So you owe me about ten thousand. I'll send you a hundred. How about that? 
Yeah. <laughs> I love I love going on the chat and just seeing it. Even like Rakio stream, dude. The people that comment are just absolutely hilarious. <laughs> yeah, Manuel's doing. I didn't even get to read the comments. They were gone before I could even look at dude, it. They're flying in here. This this is like the first day that I've actually been on the stream. I pop on every once in a while just to mess around and see what see what people are typing. But it's funny. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to delete this one because this is kind of irrelevant now that we just closed under. Yep. Like I said, so now we have, so the way I see this, we have a bearish hourly close. So this one broke above here. In my head, that's not the confirmation for entry because just this 15 minute is probably just making the hourly wick um, to possibly come down since the hourly is bearish. So we'll see what happens. If a 30 minute closes bullish like this and the next one goes above, now we have a bullish 30 minute to kind of take out this bearish hourly. Um, and if that makes a high above that bullish 30 minute, then we should continue up through that hourly area. That's kind of how I see it. But if it rockets up, closes above here, even better. That's all. I don't have a daily bias, so I'm not sure. I looked at the daily, I thought. I thought it was bullish, yeah. Daily's bullish. Four hours. My bias is on the four hour. I posted it on Instagram, but um, the daily looks bullish too, but that's not really what I pay attention to when I'm trying to execute my plan. That's all. Mm, yeah, if you go to the YouTube channel, just go to the videos page. It's not in the live stream page. Yep. This thing could be coming right back up at open, so we'll see what happens. <clears throat> yeah. If this thing moves really nice now that we have open, I think I'm going to make that an official rule for myself is the wait for the open. Check this out for you, Lloyd. Mm, I already pulled it. I think you sent me the same chart. Unless I clicked the wrong thing. Uh, did I copy it? Yeah, you sent the same. Ch yeah, chart looks fine. You just gotta. Um, yeah, it's the same chart we already, I think, we, unless you sent the wrong one. I think you sent the wrong one. Oh, did I just read the same thing twice? Oops. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it, it must have just resent this bottom part, but it made it look like you sent a whole new message because it lit up with a new chat. Uh, Asian session just opened for me and I'm central time.
I think you got uh I think you got twenty minutes till we make a play, that's what I'm waiting for. I think you're good, Branky. Uh I think that's way too much, Kieran. Well, I sent my chart. I'm still in that buy. Um where my stop loss is. Uh it's got a chart where you can see it. You're in GJ or UJ? Uh, can you hear me? Can I put oh, no, I did. All right. Um, uh, no, it's GJ. I stopped that. It's just uh, EA and GJ. That's it. Okay. How come? How come you did that kind of stop? Uh, because of that. If on my on my uh, broker, mm -hmm. the one hour. It just seems like we're hitting a support. I agree. It looks funky on that screen, but to me, it's hitting a support here. Mm -hmm. um, a snapshot of my broken. I think it's hitting a support there. And other than that, then my trade's there. As long as we form support, I think we're good. I mean, we're kind of back to this area right here I was talking about that we um, we said we were going to either come down to here or come down to here. Looks like the most recent area is where we came down to. Now we just got to wait for a support to form. I don't think my MT4 daily had a bottom wick. Uh, it might have had a tiny one. I think it. I think it might have been. Might have had this as the. As the bottom. How's this thirty look now? Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, four hours still looks really good. So. I think we're going up. We just gotta wait for it. Let me see how it forms. I should have sent it with the one hour instead of the 15 minute. But you can see it, I, I uh, put it out on the one hour chart. Did you send another thing? No, here we go.
Yo, is that Kid Quill? What? Is that Kid Quill? Mm -hmm. Joey Burbs. Oh, okay. Sounds like, you know Kid Quill or no? No. It sounds just like him. He's <clears> like a... I don't even know what kind of artist you'd call him, but he's got some good music. He did a tour last year. Yeah, that makes sense, Sam, below that hourly candle. <clears throat> On our 15 close, the bullish. Yeah. I like the 30 minute better than the 15, for this at least. It's got a little bit of a wick. No, well, I mean if it if it comes down, it's not going to give us it's not going to give me a buy opportunity. So <clears throat> that's the thing. I'm waiting for buys, but only if I get the entry confirmation to take it. If it comes down, there's no there's no buy opportunity then. So <clears throat> I think that's what a lot of people are missing. This could very well run all the way down.
<clears throat> nope, Charlene, I only look at GJ, but I'm more than willing to pull up different charts for sure. <laughs> Both have teeth. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. I feel like Zoom's kind of dead today. It only pops when everybody's excited and wins a trade, Paul. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I was happy with the first trade. Yeah, no, it was fine. The only reason I'm pissed is because I did the exact same thing yesterday, which is kind of annoying, but the other two trades that I took were solid. So I'm basically 2-2 two two on the week now. Yeah, you'll be fine by the end of the week. Just follow the rules. Yep. Yep, that's all you gotta do. Every trade was super comfortable. Even the two losses, I was, I was other than obviously doing some junk like this. I'm comfortable with it because I know what I'm risking now. You know. Yep. This has definitely been the best week for emotions. You know what I mean? I'm with you on that, Mike, for sure. Yeah, just being able to handle it and. I mean, the first two ones, taking uh, taking a win the beginning of the week really helped set the week nice. But even the two losses, like I lost, you know, it was a loss. I was cool with it. No big deal. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to unblock Julia so she can send a chart. But uh, I'll look into it after. Yeah, that'd be an awful candle if it closed bullish. Oh, sweet. There we go. Perfect. I wonder where I... It's my stream. I don't even know how to do that. Oh, here we go. Participants. There we go. Duh. That memo. We're just waiting for something. Uh, I am trading what the chart gives me, but I'm trading it with rules. So, 
I'm not just blindly buying and selling. Uh, I'm waiting for my two rules I have to be met, and then I trade it, and that's it. The simpler that it can be, the better it is for me, and that's that has that is what has worked. So. Oh my God, Garzat. Oh my God. Is it your readings? Yep, that's exactly right, Hayden. If your bias was cells, you should have been in cells, regardless of what I was doing. Case is becoming a mystery. <laughs> uh, shot. Is she on Zoom? Is Julia and some unicorn the, the recon the same thing? Uh, I don't know. She might be in the Telegram chat if that's where she sent it. I'm not sure. But she's not on Zoom chat. Yeah. Alright, chat, let's chill out. She's she's still a person. Hopefully here with good intentions. Don't need to destroy her or make her feel bad. Hey, chat. All I know is if this thing closes bullish, that is an ugly bullish close. I'm run to the bathroom real quick and be ready for more nothing. Julia, you can't. If you're sending a link, you can't send a link in the YouTube chat. You have to um, copy the letters at the end of it once you screenshot it. Oh, you didn't have to rush back so fast. Yeah, it didn't do anything. 
<laughs> I know. You were like, yeah, I'm going to go to the bathroom. There's nothing going. It took like literally 20 seconds probably. I had to walk four steps. That's funny. Quick pee and then back. That's funny. There was a minute left, so I tried to be a little quick. Well, we got 389 people in here. Where are, where's everybody from? I think we did this when we had, a, what, about 50 in here, Paul? <laughs> uh, I think we did it with like 200 before. But yeah, it's been a while. Let's see where everyone's from. Type in the chat where you guys are from. Uh, low of previous. Yep, I wasn't at the charts then, so that's why I wasn't in that one. If I was looking at the charts at 5 o'clock, I would have been in the buys. Um, uh, if I was here, I would have entered probably right when this candle broke above here, depending on the stop loss size. Um, I would have either entered here when this one broke here. Germany, London, Canada, Birmingham. Or oh, when, look at all these people. when the next one broke there. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this chat. Love it. Rugamba Edward. Venezuela, look at that. Miami, Venezuela. Venezuela. Colombia, Colombia. Nepal. Damn. Morocco, Serbia, jeez. Zimbabwe. Oh boy. That's crazy. Man in the house. No, this is a good document, Miami. Paul. I'm just sticking through your gram right now. Look at all these people. That's Germany, crazy. Germany. Wonderland. <laughs> That's funny. Um, you are so funny. <laughs> North Korea. North Korea. North Korea is where there is that guy. <laughs> oh, it's the South Korea. That guy. Oh, shit, my Uncle Bob's on here. That's Kim Jong-un. They can't find him. He's hanging out trading, watching Paul. <laughs> Nigeria. Yeah. Australia, Australia. That's kind of cool to see, honestly, all these people. This yeah. is crazy. It's crazy to think with that we reached that many people. Crazy to think just... uh. Small white guy named Paul could do this. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. Did you say small? For the white cat. Oh. Did you say small? I was waiting to see what you said about the about the small. Yeah. Oh. I didn't know. I didn't know. Two, I didn't know 220 was small. Jeez. Let's be real. Small. Wow. Wow, Mike. Wow. No, I'll remember that. No, I'm kidding. I'll remember that. Hey, what? How come this trade didn't work? I don't know, because you suck? That's my next answer. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it, honestly. <laughs> well, then next time I lose, I'm going to be like, oh, that's weird. And you're just going to be like, yeah, because you suck. I'm so excited, Vance. Oh. Oh, coming out. 120. <laughs> Todd, you been uh, weighing yourself? Uh, Have you gained, not, gained weight? not, no, I've actually lost weight. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah you were eating crazy uh, amount of, uh, meals. Yeah, I was eating nine a day. Now I'm eating, like, three. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I'm down about ten pounds as well, just not eating as much. I mean, we're not doing anything, so, like, we don't have any calories to even use. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm still working out in the basement, but it's not the same as going to the gym and shit. <laughs> yeah. Mike, those pictures you take working out are in your basement? Yeah, man. Well, most of them are, yeah. When you had, like, uh, you put someone with, like, a young girl, like, your, your new workout partner, something like that, that was your basement? Oh, yeah, that was my sister, but, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's our basement. Shit, I'm moving in, bro. <laughs> yeah. Where do we, uh, sign up? Yeah, dude, it's, it's honestly, it's been clutch. It doesn't have, obviously, everything, but it's so clutch in a time like this. We have about 15 pounds from beer. <laughs> Damn. No, no push-up challenge right now. I'm <coughs> trying to trying to keep my heart rate down right now. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you, bet you haven't been taking a lot of pre and stuff, have you? 
I haven't like, taken uh, a single. Like, you some stuff? I haven't taken a single supplement in since the start of it. Yeah, that's good though. I mean, honestly, that's good for your body to be honest. <laughs> oh yeah, my body, my immune system, my stomach, my blood levels, everything needed a rest. Paul posted a, a a can of Monster, right? I mean, he replaced it with Monster. No, I drink those regardless. I don't when I t I never really take pre though. I don't take energy pre. I just take pump. So yeah. I never really take pre workout energy. Uh, and like, like energy pre workout. You get a good lift, and I I have to take some pre. Mm, yeah, not me. Uh, it's not. Well, a... I don't I don't drink like energy drinks like at all. The only time I drink it is if I'm like I don't even drink like monster monster rockstar any of that. I'll just take a scoop of pre and then I'll just hit a workout and that's it. So I use all of the energy that I have in my workout in the first like. 45 minutes you know what i mean yeah and yeah, it just makes my heart rate too fast i don't like it yeah yeah years back when i lost weight and i first tried a pre-workout you know it like makes you kind of focused mm -hmm. like, so i almost walked into the doors walking into the gym i almost forgot you had to open them with your hands i'm just like i'm ready i'm just like walking about an inch away from walking into the door it was crazy Mm. Yeah, I juice. You take apple juice, grape juice, all the juice, pineapple juice. Orange juice, don't forget about that. <laughs> dude, honestly, I drink orange juice every morning, dude. Every single morning, just to try to stay healthy with that vitamin C. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you fish, man. That's so boring, in my opinion. Nope, no fibs. Just price action. Most recent price action, too. Anybody into the NFL? Any tracks tomorrow? <laughs> yep. It's going to be the first NFL Zoom draft. I know, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be kind of cool to see. See who the Lions pick up. Wait for some uh, Zoom bombers. 
they, uh, I guess they did some testing and they had a bunch of things go wrong because they're, they're concerned of people hacking into their Zoom. No kidding. I can see how it happened. It happens pretty easily. Pretty often, too. Yeah, I mean, it can't be any worse than Jeremy Tunsil when uh, whoever posted that video of him with a mask bomb right in the middle of him getting drafted. Oh, I didn't even hear about that. Yeah, on Twitter, somebody posted, he was supposed to go, like, between three and six, I believe. And then right before the pick that they thought he was going to get picked at, someone released the video of him with a big mask on and bong. And then he dropped, like, ten picks. Wow. Yeah, it was crazy. Well, I did a little bit of wet. No, we don't do too much fundamentals at all, um, but it's been really weird the past two nights, man. I feel like no one wants to take control of the market or buyers or sellers. Or not. Just real slow. Sucks, this is the four hour close. <clears throat> if it closes bearish, though, then we can take sells. But ideally, I'd like it to close bullish. I think it would look much better. Uh, I had a um, little trading panel that kind of did it for me. You can just Google and find it. Um, and before that, I just used the like like a risk calculator thing, um, and that was a lot slower, but it still worked. Yeah, that was so hard for me to place trades with baby pips, dude. Magic keys like speeds that process like. 20 fold like so much easier oh yeah it's ridiculous like i really didn't think it was going to do all that it's done and whew, <laughs> it definitely has yeah i think i'm gonna take part of my next deposit and buy magic keys yeah i would highly recommend it dude it's sick all right eddie let's see what you got on your chart This AU. Oh, those are good. No drawdown entry. Uh, it looks like it should go fill that wick. Uh, we just might not do it in Asian session. Actually, no, AUD is up in Asian. It could. If you form a resistance um, somewhere here or lower, um, I think you could head down there if you get through get through here. Start to make lower lows, kind of like these candles did. That's awesome, Eddie. Nice job.
Thank you, Barabbas. Appreciate it. <clears throat> yeah, Asian could range again. It does it. It does it a lot. That down move could have been the one move Asian gives, and then the rest of this will just be crap. Yep. That's good. Yeah, we had a nice win streak going. Uh, yesterday we had one trade, kind of just ranged on us. Today, today it was just today. Did not play out today, but we weren't ranging, so that's good. Mm-hmm, yep, that makes sense. It's kind of what I was looking at. Yep, yeah, and I would say 90% of the time, once you get one move down, maybe one move up, uh, we'll get stuck in a range. But it's going to be the four hour close as well. And if it closes like this, um, that's really ugly, but then it's bearish, so then it sells till we're above here. So I'm hoping this will close bullish so it'll still be buys. But we'll see. Yeah, I posted on Instagram the the way I choose my bias, so you can look at that and check that out. I'll save it real quick so it doesn't disappear. Where 
is it? Here we go. There we go. I added it to a highlight. Lots of waiting this week in Asia, not a whole lot of activity. Yeah, dude, New York was terrible this morning too, bro. I sat there for like two and a half hours and there was like, it moved maybe 15 pips and it yeah, was basically in a range. Yeah, it did this. Yeah. Yeah, Raquel got like a lucky. Well, he took it off of like a bottom wick, which right didn't fit my plan. It, yeah, he took it down there and only took it up to the top. But I don't think the uh, I think the thirty minute close bearish or there was something the reason why I didn't take it. But yeah, it was just. I don't know. Uh, it's the only pair I'm considering, Peter. But if you send your chart, I'll pull up any, um, any pair. So that's just this is just all that I'm concerned with. But if you send a chart and then you want me to pull up a chart uh, and give you my like mark it up how I would, uh, I'll do that. But you have to send me a chart with your analysis first, and then I'll pull up um, a different chart and check it out. I wonder what GA has been doing. Ooh. I wonder what the GA spreads are. I might have to. GA was like my baby. Uh, if I win the first one, I typically won't take a second one. Uh, if we lose the first one, I'll look for a second one. But if we don't get the entry I'm looking for, then there is no second trade for me. Um, like those cells down, they made perfect sense, uh, but not my plan. So no entry there for me. What pair is this? Oh, this is GA. Oh, spreads are back to normal on GA. Uh-oh. GA was super nice.
and GA would have played out perfectly. I would have taken it right above this guy. We'll, uh, we'll look at that tomorrow. Like normally just use the one to one risk reward, right? Minimum, yeah. Sometimes I get I mean I'd say most of the time I get one to two with the runner. But I don't like my stop loss to be over ten because I'm closing something at ten. So then that's always one to one. How do you split your trades up to like not be over trading? Like since you trade both sessions. Hmm. I mean, I get two in New York and two in Asian if I need it. So I get four a day, pretty much. Worst case scenario. Usually Has doesn't. It ever what? Have you ever lost all four trades before? So you took an eight percent hit. Uh, one time, yeah. It happened one time in. It was this one, right? It was this week, um, right here. Uh, it was that week I did UJ in the beginning. Oh, yeah, this one right here. One, two, three, four. So that put me down. The stop losses were minimized. I think it ended up being like six percent, but then I still ended the week up three percent. So I ended up making back nine percent throughout the week using the same risk so and that's usually how it goes if I start out really bad I end really strong or it's just a really good week altogether or really good in the beginning a little slow at the end um, but it always ends up being fine at the end of the week I just gotta just not over trade and keep doing the exact same thing it tends to work out and have not had a losing week since um, the bias and the high and low entry and really sticking to it. Yep, yeah, I've heard of harmonics. I've heard of most of that stuff, but I just don't, uh, I just don't use it. All right, now, now we look for, yeah, I really don't like that four hour close to be honest, but We'll follow the rule, per usual. That hourly, yeah, kind of down there. Let's see what happens. Wait and see if we get an entry. So, um, for people that are confused on the bias, if you didn't read the thing I posted, or uh, you don't listen when I. Uh, talk about it every live stream so previous was bullish so we were looking for buys now we have a bearish close so bias has now changed to sells until above here unless we get a bullish close down here then we switch it back and we look for buys but we won't be on the chart that long so for the rest of the session it'll be sells or no trade How do you go about doing that in New York session? Do you just like... Normally just New York session has the volume to, to break it right away. So if the four hour is gonna break, this in New York would have came down and then the bias has changed. 
um, and then when it breaks it, typically it will close in that direction if I'm on the chart that long without a trade. Uh, and then I just tighten it up down to the next one. But I really don't like that bearish four hour close. It just looks like crap. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty small four hour too, I feel like compared to a lot of the previous ones. Yeah, and this looks, this still looks bullish, but I think if it's going to go up, we shouldn't get a sell entry. And look at the hourly on MT4, see what we look like. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens in the next 30 minutes to an hour. Otherwise, probably just call it because looks like those cells were the move Asian wanted to give out. Kind of opened at Asians. Yeah, so yeah, we came down right there. Yep, saw that. So yeah, we could come down there. One Who keeps drawing? Who's the artist? I didn't know how to use it before. I was just trying it out. <laughs> oh, right. Gotcha. Yeah, this is going to be, this could be a lot more waiting for no trade. But we'll hang out a little bit and see what happens. But. You don't really get too many moves in Asian. You get, there's one. Sometimes you get a good second move, but normally that's not more than like 15 pips. And I feel like that move is going to be up, but that's against my rules, so no entry for me. But um, you guys could probably get a trade off of it. But one thing, so when the bias previous was bullish, um, we got one, one attempt for entry, and that was right here. Yes. Did you guys see that? But then, do you see how it all played out? The bias was uh, bias was buys, but see how none of these candles gave us an opportunity to take that trade. So all that means is, if you're gonna take a trade, it should more than likely play out. But if it's gonna be against your bias, you're not gonna get that entry. We got one entry. Um, and it just happened to be right where the four hour ended up stopping, which was not breaking that hourly. And then we came down, which was kind of just unfortunate. But when you're looking at the bias, how I do it, um, candles form. And when they go against you, um, I would say 95% of the time, you just don't get an entry um, if it's going to be against your bias. So if this breaks above here, I can, uh, I think waiting at least 15 minutes for the new four hour. Plus we have a, where's the hourly? We have a bearish hourly. Yeah, definitely wait for like a 30 minute bullish close. Um, not just a break above here. That just seems a little too risky for me. Yeah, it does still look bullish. If we get above here, then I'm taking buys up to here. But again, it's Asian, that's a lot of volume. That means Asian needs to push again about 50 pips. Um, uh, that's asking a lot out of Asian session. Happens once in a while, but I'd say what, maybe once, maybe, maybe twice a week, we get kind of moves like that, if that. Uh, it depends if we get an entry or not.
Let's see what happens. I'd say Asian's got maybe an hour left of volume. After that, it'll just be ranging to London. Uh, let me check that out for you. Yeah, that looks like it could hold there. Mm-hmm. GBT. Listen to the same music every day. Yeah, Hayden, we've been getting a lot more traction. I mean, today, Rakil and Ted. Hmm blew my Instagram up, which was super cool, and they blew the YouTube up, so they've definitely helped the, or Monty too, I mean, the, all three of them really helped the, the growth of what's going on here, so that's super cool, got really lucky with that, <clears throat> people just like me, I don't know what to say, but no, that, uh, super grateful for, for the help I've gotten for sure. Uh, but I also think me showing up here every single day with no excuses has also been very helpful to what I'm trying to do and really show people that I actually care and want to be here and I'm going to be here for a while. So I definitely know that I've put in the work, but I also know that I've had some very, very successful people give me a huge boost. Um, if I were to be doing it all on my own, I would definitely not have reached this level um, as quick. I think that makes perfect sense. That looks beautiful. So, to prove my point in terms of candles, this is against my bias, but in terms of candles, this candle broke above this candle. If this one closes bullish and the next one breaks above, it won't break below this and then it'll probably start to inch up. Um, the only thing that puts me off of this trade is, first of all, the yeah, hourly open. open. Second, um, I don't like four hour opens or closes. So typically 15 minutes before a four hour close and then 15 minutes into the open, <clears throat> depending on how that open like sets up. I'd like to just avoid those same thing. First 15 minutes of the hourly, I like to avoid those as well. But how these candles came down regard besides this one that really dicked us around, um, if we're going up, these ones should do the same thing these did, but in the other direction. And then if we get above here, I will take a buy up to here. But we have to get there first. But that's the plan if we do. Yep, and then sells. If we come up for a resistance, then I'll take a sell down uh, with my bias. But if it breaks the bias, then we're back over to buys. All right. I think this was a full link. Yep. <clears throat> you took a uh, you took a sell and a bullish candle. I would be careful with those if I'm reading this right. It looks like you took a sell on a bullish candle that was really strong, closing above these candles. Stop loss kind of seems like it's in a random spot. I don't know if I'm reading this right, Nathan. If I'm not, you can correct me. Um, I think you would have been better off waiting. Granted, this is my trading style, so take it with a grain of salt. Wait for this candle to close 
and you're looking for sells, so this break of the high doesn't matter to you because you're not looking for a buy. Once it breaks this low, that's where I would have taken an entry with a stop loss above here. And then target right where you did. <clears throat> uh, do you um, use that break of the higher low on a 30 minute time frame as well, or not just the 15? Uh, if that's the entry I get, yes. So like in, if I was looking for buys in this circumstance and it wasn't a four hour open or close, then yes. My entry would have been right there, stop loss right there. But it's against the bias and it's a four hour open, so I'm not in that trade. Yeah, four hour opens always just seem to um, screw me over than, than not. So I figured I'd just stay away. And I mean, if it gives a good trade in 30 minutes, uh, there's probably a good chance that sometime in that four hour, I'll get another good trade to take. So. Uh, Thank you. I appreciate that. I wouldn't say it's the best. I'd say it's the boringest for sure. But we try to make it not boring. It's just Asian's kind of a one pump chump. If you're in it, you're in it. If you're not, you're kind of just sitting on your hands, unfortunately. But it definitely takes the most discipline to trade. I think London, New York, you get a lot more opportunities because there's better volume, but it's still the same skill set to trade any session, so just less action here. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to pop off, guys. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'll be there in the morning. I'll be back on New York okay. session with you guys. I just needed my eyes and brain needed a break. Yeah, for sure, dude. You need that every once in a while. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like I need a week off. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. But... Well, all right, bro. I'll see you in the morning. Yep. Yes, sir. Do you need 16 screens to trade effectively? No, you need 20 screens to trade effectively, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I have those rules, Panther. They actually, if you do, if you do the bias rule in New York, um, you'll understand why I like it so much. Asian Sessions kind of... If your move isn't with the four hour, it's kind of just a lot of waiting. Um, and you kind of like, we could have totally caught those cells, but it was against our rules. And if we're going to follow our rules, we have to always follow them. We can't just make exceptions because then, then you're making exceptions all the time and you're more than likely going to be losing um, more times making the exception than not. Uh, I have these blue light glasses I wear, but. Um, one to two, sometimes three hours of New York in the morning, two to three hours of mentoring, coaching during the day. If I play Xbox for an hour or two, there's another hour or two. Maybe if I play four or five hours, there's four or five hours. And then the live stream's another two to three hours. It's a lot of time. Is it hailing outside? Oh, wow, it is. Oh, crap. So yeah, if you try this, if you try the strategy, or you just back tested in New York, um, when New York doesn't do this, it works very well. So the only time I've found that the strategy um, does not work is like today, four hour change directions on us. We're not going to predict the next four hour to go bearish when the current one is, or the previous is bullish. Um, it's just, I think that's a bad way to look at it. If you have a bullish candle, it's best to just assume the next one will go bullish as long as your confirmation's met, not to assume the opposite or the worst to happen. Um, so when this happens specifically, um, if it gives you an entry, that is one reason it will not play out. The other reason it does not play out is if it gives you an entry, and then doesn't play out is when it moves sideways. So if we would have taken um, an entry, let's say we had a bullish candle here and we took this entry when it broke above here, not saying we would, but hypothetically, if we did and it didn't play out, price ended up going sideways. Plus, just looking at it, this looks like it's probably a bearish four hour. Um, so you'd only be looking for a new low anyways, which would have been this one right here, stop here, TP smashed right here. 
Um, so when it doesn't work out, it either goes against you, um, which which can happen. That's just part of it. Or it starts arranging. So if we were looking at this one, this looks like price came up, formed a higher low, a support to make a higher high. We got a good target up there. Um, granted, we have resistance here. Um, but still, we have support there. Price broke above and then came back. Actually, that was Asian yesterday. So yeah, price kind of went into a range yesterday when our trade didn't play out. Um, so it's either that happens or the four hour turns around and goes against you. And then you don't get another entry after that. So none of those candles gave us an entry. So we're just watching. Which is what I, I don't like about it. But I like it when it does end up playing out. Uh, because then it really does play out very well. Um, but there are a few times where it doesn't play out. Let me check out the four hour. And the, the other key part of it too is it has to be during um, a session and preferably a session with volume. So either London, Asian or New York session. Uh, so anything in here, it should play out. Anything in here, it should play out unless it turns around on the four hour or it ranges. So and it does seem to kind of play out during the day sometimes, but I don't look at that. Um, I only look at what's in here and what's in here. So what about Asian yesterday? That was trash. New York, you took a new high, but that was probably... Okay, yeah, so that was New York. So we've got cells here, so bearish, new low. Um, I mean, pretty much any one of these candles would have worked, but the one I was looking to take was here. Once it broke here, came down. Same thing, we got a bearish candle here, new low. Price came down. So... Just looking at candles and sticking to a four hour or a daily bias, both um, both should work just fine. Uh, I used to have the dark background, but um, I like the tan white one a little better, I guess. Yep, yeah, so the other thing that I look for is I like a 30 minute candle in my direction that's closed to trade with, or an hourly candle that's closed to trade with. So the trade we took earlier, we had this really nice, strong bullish candle that closed above here and here. Um, that made sense for me on the next high um, to take it. So an hourly or a 30 minute in my direction is what I would like to have, uh, as well as the four hour previous as well. Yeah, just try to get some sleep, Jimmy. Don't stay up all night. <coughs> Gotta rest your mind. Mm, yep, so price is bearish till it tells me it's bullish. So if these candles go up and give me that bullish bias change, um, then I will look for the buys. Uh, Jawad, you gotta send a chart, and then I will tell you my thoughts on it. Yeah, it's not good for your eyes, apparently, or your head. Yeah, I already got a headache coming in. Could just be lack of water intake, though, to be honest. I've been slacking lately. Appreciate that, Jason. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I have not yet, but I was on prep before quarantine happened, and then I had, uh, then I stopped, and once quarantine's over, I'm going to be getting back on prep, and picking a show and prepping for it, so uh, I'm just worried peak week might <laughs> mess up trading a little bit if, uh, if I'm too 
too emotional. So might take a week off during peak week. Um, but I'm hoping I'll just be able to be fine. I don't see it being an issue, but never, never been in that state. So we got to kind of see how it goes first. 132.750. I mean, if this forms support here, I think this will be the low of the range it plays in. Don't trade that week. <laughs> yeah, it'll definitely be. Uh, I mean, if anything, it'd be more people just come and watch for entertainment. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I typically am. I've been getting really, really good at um, just being a robot on the charts. So, but I'm also eating a lot freely, and a lot of just whatever I want. But just like. Making healthy decisions, you could say. Sometimes I make healthy decisions, but uh, yeah, we'll see. If I'm if I'm very moody and like irritable, like to my girlfriend, then definitely probably gonna just <clears throat> chill for the week on the trading. Um, but we'll see. Yeah, you gotta feel comfy in your in your trade, Eddie. That's that's what I've learned has been really important is when you're super comfy when you take the trade, um, you should be super comfy uh, if you lose the trade too. Mm, yep, you did it. Kind of did it again. If you took it, took it off the one minute off my opinion. This is AU. Yeah, it kind of looks, kind of looks like you entered on a bullish close, but this is also the five minute time frame. Um, yeah, I would, good luck. I would be, I'd be careful. I'd, if you get a 15 minute or 30 minute bearish close, you might be better off. Um, and it should continue, but I would just be careful with consistently taking those kind of entries that might might backfire on you. <laughs> Sounds good, Mike. At least you got a plan, win or lose. I think yesterday or last time when uh, I think uh, when we won was it Sunday? I think uh, you cracked a beer too, so you got a consistent plan. That's good. I think that looks good. That's a lot more information than what I use, but that looks good. Got clean traffic in both directions. Mm -hmm. I think that makes perfect sense. 
The only thing I would be interested to know is do you enter when price gets above here, that little body right there, or when it gets above here or above your zone or just closes in here? Uh, what, what are you specifically looking for? Just any sort of close in your yellow box or does it have to be above something specific or pass a wick? Uh, that'd be the only thing I would be concerned about. Because let's say you take a trade when it closes here uh, one time, and then you take a trade next time it closes like above your zone. Um, does this top one play out more than the bottom one? Uh, I would just be concerned how consistent the entries are or just what you're looking for to have that consistency. But as usual, my opinion, if your trades play out, you win most of the time. Um, you can probably just disregard everything I say. Because if you're winning, it doesn't matter what anyone says. <clears throat> Beer for celebration. and <laughs> That's beautiful. Above the yellow zone. Okay. Gotcha. So then I'm assuming if it's the bottom side, it's got to be below the whole zone. That makes sense. That would be very consistent in my opinion. 70 pip moving five minutes. Holy cow. Yep, that makes sense. I think the buys made sense. I just, just against my rules, unfortunately. So Jawad, if it closes above there with a little wick, do you still take the entry or do you wait? Uh, Xavier, uh, the live stream starts at 6 p.m. Central, <clears throat> which for me was two and a half hours ago. So whatever two and a half hours ago is for you is when we started. And then Asian Open was an hour and a half ago. Yep. If this 30 close is strong, you could definitely head up to there. <coughs> or even up to there, because then you get a high, high or low, and you just keep making the staircase. I mean, if you look, that's if we close like that, that could be... Do I have the marker? That could be exactly what we did. I don't think it'll have the volume to do this move here, but I said we don't know till it happens. But we gotta close first. Yep. <clears throat> gotcha. So then if it doesn't do that, are you waiting for another candle to close above with that wick, Jawad? Okay, gotcha. J -Lo. Yeah, if you don't have it, I definitely recommend it for sure. If you go to the YouTube channel, um, if you want to use my referral link, you can. <coughs> I have it to be used, so. Uh, where is the. I'm going to go pop up live. Oh, look at that. It popped up. So, this little. MK right here, <clears throat> click that, take you right to Magic Keys. What is this? Oh, okay, that's that link, cool. Perfect, Jawad, that's perfect.
is what's still on. Nope, nothing good, Gerza. We had one one attempt right here. Um, ended up just coming down on us. Now we just been waiting. Yep, no worries. You did not miss anything. Yep, you could do that, Lewis. Super easy. Uh, press once you get your trades in. Open calc, open trade, double trade. Takes about a probably less than a second to do all three. Uh, once you set your stop loss and uh, take profit, um, and then all you have to do is set your close custom button to seventy five percent. Once you hit your, what'd you say? Uh, once you reach your profit area, you press close custom. You'll close seventy five percent. And then your 25% will run, and you let that go to wherever you want to let it go to. Excuse me. No, we took one trade right before open. Didn't play out. Um, I think waiting for open will be will be a new rule for the rest of the week. See how it goes. 
What do we have? Do we have one more day or two more days? Oh, we only have one more day. Oh boy. Okay. Kind of sucks. Wednesdays, Wednesdays are normally pretty good. Yeah, Lewis, it says it's unbelievably simple. Part of why I like it so much is because it's so simple. Yep, yeah, I'll pull up your chart in a sec. Hey, shush. Yep, yeah, that trade looks good once it broke that 30 minute high. Against my rules, though, so I will not be participating, but it does look like it could be going back up to test that level, that resistance up there, 133.051 area. Looks like we could be heading up to there. Beautiful. What is that? Uh, SPX, SC, X, uh, XPS, USD. Entered on price broke above previous. Ooh, that looks good. Yep. Mhm. Mm I like that. Yeah, it's hailing out. Yep, goes out so now it sells.
Yep, see you tomorrow, Lewis. Last day of the week. For Asian session, at least. Damn. 17 followers from 5,800. Wow. That's insane. Yeah, these candles are kind of moving sideways now. Looks like they kind of tapped into this area here. Kind of a crap session, I mean. We got, what, two, two same colored candles in a row and that was it? It was kind of messy. See you later, Bob. Yeah, it's kind of crap right now. Yeah, just gotta wait on GJ. Looks like it's going up, but we'll see how the next candles go. Yeah, it's building for the move up or down one or the one or two ways. I'll be back in a minute.
Yep, we're about to. Yep, we'll see what happens in the next eight minutes. Nothing happens. Um, that will be all for today. Not a whole lot of action tonight. Kind of boring. Yep, yeah, volume's definitely died down for sure. I mean, just look at the candles, they're tiny. There's no volume yet.
All right, guys, I'm going to head off. There's not really anything going on. I'm not going to sit and try and force a trade. But we'll be back tomorrow, last day of the week. Um, and we will be starting about 6 like normal. So I will see you guys then. All right. All right, nice one. Yep. Take care.